Well, almost one year after a sandalwood student was struck and killed by a car, the city of Jacksonville says they have plans to install crosswalks to allow students to safely cross the street. It was October of last year. 15 year old Lizzie Ross was killed while walking to school. First Coast News reporter Jason Rantala spoke with Ross's grandmother about her efforts to increase safety. The school bus driver, Cynthia Weiss, says every day she has to pass the place where her granddaughter, 15 year old Lizzie Ross, was struck and killed while crossing the street. I do look down here at times and yeah, it, it upsets me. A teen who Weiss says would have graduated this year. She had her plans and unfortunately they, they were taken away. Weiss hopes that Ross's death can prevent future tragedy. I was very angry and I just felt like I had to do something to make things better for the kids to cross over. Weiss says she's since started a petition, reached out to our station, emailed the governor, even President Trump. She heard back from Mayor Lenny Curry a month ago, asking Curry for crosswalks. On Monday, she heard from the city traffic engineer, who told her the city is planning two crosswalks, one west of Whispering Woods Boulevard, one east of Sam Hardwick Boulevard. The crosswalks will have pavement markings and signs, according to a city email. I started crying, I was so happy because it, it's all about the safety of the kids crossing the street. Weiss says this is a good start and has this message for students. Please use the crosswalks. It is for your safety. And <laughs> I think it's going to help a lot.